This podcast is sponsored by Kyoto Electronics Manufacturing, manufacturer of analytical instruments for laboratory, medical, and environmental protection purposes. Today we are uh, going to demonstrate, uh, we're running some solid samples uh, with a Carl Fisher uh, coolometric uh, titrator uh, using an evaporator. And uh, we'll show you the instruments in a moment. Um, what we start off with, though, when you're using an evaporator, however, uh, you don't inject your sample, but you actually put it into a, a sample boat. And that's this is a glass sample boat. And all I've done is put some aluminum foil that you can buy at the grocery store. Uh, I made a mold. Uh, that's kind of nice when you're dealing with uh, messy samples and you're, uh, it keeps you from having to clean the, uh, the glass boat every time. So uh, to start our, our test, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to weigh our glass boat uh, with the aluminum foil and we're going to tear it and then we're going to add our sample and then we're going to get the weight of our sample. So here we go. Okay, so we've teared the balance with our, sample, with our, with our glass boat. We bring over. Now we're ready to introduce the sample. And in this case, we're going to use this product here. It's a thick substance that we could never actually inject. That's kind of hard to, to get into the right size, but we're going to try to do this. We want to do about 0.1 grams. Really thick stuff. Okay. So we have a sample. You can see that now. It's in there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to weigh our sample. A little more than a gram, so we've got. 1.2112 grams. Okay, at this point, uh, what we can talk about the, the Carl Fisher titrator and what we have here. Uh, far left, this is, uh, this is our Carl Fisher titrator. This is the master control unit. Uh, it is uh, utilized uh, to put all of your inputs in to, to not only run the Carl Fisher, but you can also set it up to run the evaporator with all the settings. In this portion here, this is your coolometric Carl Fisher titrator with your cell. This is a dual uh, reagent setup. We have a printer sitting on top of this second channel, or this channel, this Carl Fisher channel. And then here we have the ADP611. It's a solids evaporator. It goes from 0 to 300 degrees Celsius. And we have a heater tube here where we put the sample in. And the idea is that we use nitrogen gas to um, to run the evaporator and nitrogen gas comes into the back and we have it set to temperature for the particular sam sample that we will use. It heats up the sample, the idea is it heats up the sample, the moisture comes off of the sample, it flows through the heater tube and then it bubbles into the vessel. And you can see here where there's a bubbling action inside the vessel. And what's nice about this is only moisture is being introduced into the vessel while the messy sample is uh, just inside that foil inside the uh, glass boat. So it doesn't mess up your vessel. Uh, it, it allows you to use more of your reagent life. Um, and obviously you're not dumping extra sample in there, causing you to have to, to change it out because you filled up the vessel. So at this point, what we did um, prior to weighing our sample is we were ready to go and I pressed start on the master control unit. And it went through a series of purging. Uh, it, it did a back purge and a cell purge of the evaporator. And right now it's telling us that the unit has a stable drift and that it's ready to run a test. So 
at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our sample. We weigh our sample. So now we're going to go ahead and put it into the evaporator. And this is how we introduce it into the evaporator. We take this cap off the end very quickly and we slide it in with the handle as part of it. And we put this back on. And now we're ready. We're ready to start the test. So we're going to go ahead and it's prompting us. It says the drift is stable. And we're going to go ahead and hit, hit the OK button. And when we do that, notice now that it is moving the sample automatically into the oven, uh, sliding it into the oven. And now it says it wants us to start titrating. So we're going to hit start. And it's going to start titrating. Now I pressed the start button a few times, and, and I partly do because I had it set up to do manual a manual start, but I could have had an automatic start where you press start once and it takes care of everything. But I wanted to show each step. Um, on this particular test, we're using a feature on the evaporator that's new for the 600. It's called the scan mode. And what that does is it actually scans the sample and how fast moisture is coming off the sample. And it seeks to find the proper amount of heat uh, to apply to the sample to get the most effective uh, result. In some cases you can have a temperature that's too high and that actually can cause the sample to burn off other, um, other things that are not necessarily moisture. So the scan feature is pretty nice. It gives you a general idea of maybe where the temperature should be, whether it's 100 or 150 or 200 or even more. So we're going to be really interested to see what these results look like. And what's going to happen is when this test does finish, it's going to prompt us to put the uh, sample weight in and we'll simply come up to the master control unit and we'll be on the screen and we will input the sample weight and we will hit OK and we're done. The sample, the test result will print and we'll be ready to run our next test. Thanks for listening to this podcast. If you have any questions or comments, send your email to comments at scientificgear.com or go directly to blog.scientificgear.com to submit your comment.